So the Lord prophesied to me the song by Maxwell, Fortunate. I'm going to read some of the lyrics, okay? It's the whole song. Never seen the sunshine like this. Never seen the moon glow like this. Never seen the waterfalls like this. Never seen the lights off like this. Never dug anyone like this. Never had tasty lips to kiss. Never had someone to miss. Never wrote a song quite like this. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Just as sure as the sky is blue, I bless the day that I found you. Now, the Lord is saying with this word, um, this experience will shape your husband's life and yours too. I saw two butterflies flying over the trees and it went towards the sky as this song was playing. This kingdom blessing that the Lord is bringing to us right now. Ooh. Glory, glory be to God. He is really doing it in this hour. Like he's, it's clear that he meant what he said the first time, since the very first time he told us. But now, hallelujah, because we see it in the physical. By the glory and the grace of God, you have matrimony. Okay, all your hard work and restraint has gotten you to be in that group of people that are receiving marriage at this time. Your person is glad that they found you. Okay, the second verse is focusing on a vacation with your person. Yes, it's a vacation. It says, never had room service all night, never took a trip, first class flight, never had a love affair so tight, I've never felt a feeling so right, never seen a winter so white, never had words to recite, never had a flame to ignite, and I never sing a song with all my might. And then he goes to the chorus again a couple of times, your person... Uh, he's going to be on vacation with you and he just you know a proposal is coming and a, a person never made them feel like how you make them feel this person has never felt like a match was more right for his life Whew. it feels good to know this um when the lord was giving this to me i really was just very very excited i couldn't really do all that because i was out in public like i was at the park so i really just didn't want to do the most but when i got home i definitely praised the lord um so you guys i hope you guys are praying on your keynote's marriage and for your spouse and i hope you are talking to the lord daily and praying and praising him uh, the next part is the bridge silent shouts i hope you hear i'm calling out to your body Baby, you know just what to do. Close the door. No interlude. Your man is like, hey, I am ready for you. This is about a consummation. This is about a consummation of the marriage and just an opportunity. Now, guys, when I heard this part of the song, um, I looked up and a huge flock of geese came and they reminded me of Moses and the Israelites when they were traveling in the desert. It's like how these birds, they migrate every season um, to areas with the best weather and how the Israelites were also traveling. But the locations were never permanent and they got lost in their disbelief and they hindered themselves by getting into believing false gods and just practicing sexual immorality. Um, reminding you guys of the water rock story, the Maribel story, where um, they were complaining about not having certain things. So the, the Lord fed them water. All they had to do was pray. And also um, it brought me to where in Numbers 25, where they were participating in a negative uh worshiping idols and sexual immorality in numbers 25 um so that's that's when they got punished and that's when eleazar son of aaron had to um step up to the plate and make it right with god those people had to die they they had to leave this earth because of their disobedience to god and because they decided to be sexually immoral um these group of people have put um when I say this group of people, the people who this word is for have put childish ways aside. The Lord's grace is sufficient. That also does not give us a reason to go against him and participate in heinous acts or succumb to the fleshly desires, being a slave to sin completely. And there will be a judgment in the coming days for some 
they won't be accepted into the promised land. They will be judged for their disobedience. In Second Peter 3, 10 through 13, um, it states, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. These are God's words. If you are called to his purpose, do not stray from the Bible and his teachings. Um, moving back on to the song, your husband is happy he got you forever. Um, the last run, I'm sure you guys are familiar with that part. He's just like, just as sure as this. Okay, so I'll go in the, the chorus one more time. But he says a couple riffs at the end that's really, really coming of how your man feels about you. I want to let you know that let the whole world know I'm loving my baby now and it's making me and this voice goes really high I don't even know what he says but his voice goes so so high and you guys know um Maxwell got that falsetto and I ain't got no falsetto so y'all go listen to the song that's that's where I'm gonna leave it at you guys go listen to the song okay I'm not singing uh this last run is his announcement to the world for his love for you and your return love he believes he truly has the best woman that god can offer him and wow you know big eyes at this time you guys and i don't want to cry but this period waiting for this marriage to come has been so hard because i haven't just been sitting around waiting i've been waiting and doing things while i wait so the lord has been putting challenges in front of my face it's been i've been going through things that my kingdom spouse don't even know about i was very surprised when the lord told me who it was um but you guys my eyes have never been so big uh listening to it were as they were today i was really like wow lord is that's that's how you come in that's how you come in in this season in this season like wow okay so yeah big eyes for my spouse i'm really i'm really eyeing you down right now spouse i'm really seeing what you're doing and i know how you feel now okay i know we have word guys that it will happen but please be surprised when your man says this or at least his version of what i'm telling you guys it may differ a little bit now um here are some of the words that you guys might be seeing um i the Lord prophesied these words to me a month ago, but he is just now putting on my heart to add to this word. Um, the first word is 511, which means higher or to be higher. Now, this word is a rhema word. So this, you know, higher place that you are on right now is calling for you to be um, boldly claiming your faith boldly like that means without embarrassment you are strongly saying something um many of you many of us have been called to speak to our spouse and minister to our spouse but we should already be uh saying the good news to people as being children of christ amen so this is no surprise to most people but this is just a reminder I was also told 717 in the strong concordance, it is to gather or to pluck up as in marriage. So, amen. The Lord just continued to show us in various ways what he is doing right now. And the last number is 718, which means to fit, to join oneself in marriage. Now, how on point is that word okay he may not say it exactly like how the song say it of course but he loves you so much and while i was receiving this message i also um overheard somebody playing this song uh it's called but it's lma and meek mill now this is a little bit of a secular song so just take this part of the song do not listen to the whole thing because i listened to it and i was just like ain't no way the lord's saying all this he just want this part okay so Tell me how you want it, yeah, call me and I'm on my way. Tell me that you need me, yeah, I'll give it to you night and day. I'm talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then she says it again, yeah, all day, 24-7, all day, 24-7. You guys, the Lord is saying, be ready to become a wife. That is what it means to be ready. 
being available, being vulnerable to your husband, and your husband comes first, okay? Some of us, um, we're, we are all, we're all at different parts in our lives right now, but I will just say this, no matter what you have going on right now, when you marry this man, he is number one. Of God, of course, is your first priority, but your husband will be number one to you, okay? There in Genesis two twenty four, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Now, you guys, the other side of that is that you have to put your wifely duties at number one. If you don't have a place to stay, um start praying or you should have been praying that you have a place to stay um some of your husbands may place a big responsibility on you like becoming a stepmom and i do urge you if you don't have kids um to do some research and you know just ask advice of good moms that you know on how to handle kids because you will play a big part in your stepchild's success and in the success of your husband as you are helping this man become a better man a better father for his kids and the kids that he'll have with you now i have another verse for you guys turn your ear to me come quickly to my rescue be my rock of refuge a strong fortress to save me the lord is sending us out in twos you guys um it's not long it's you know it's not long at all um understand that you do have something that the lord is wanting you to share with your husband 